Well, you two keep playing happy families. Either way, you're not dropping me in it. You can't force us to. Yes, I can. Drew. Look, it's good to see you. We've been really worried. Oh, oh Drew, hello. I'm Leah. I'm Dan's wife. Glad to finally meet you. So, um, what, what happened? Where, where have you been? Uh, staying in a mate's place. Right, well, your mother's been worried sick about you, so, um... I mean, sorry, I had to tell her it's been a week since we heard anything. Look, I just came here to get what's mine, OK? So we can cut all the small talk. Sorry, I don't think I understand. Well, my dad must have left me something. I just want to get it and get out of here. OK. Uh, well, the thing is, the world's not being read until tomorrow. I thought all that stuff would have been organised by now. Well, it takes a bit of time to organise. Your dad's solicitor's coming in the morning. Except I'm not going to be here in the morning, am I? Well, if you want to know what's in the will, you're going to have to be. You could always stay overnight if you like. We'd love to have you. I guess I haven't got much choice. Uh, mate, I think we really need to talk about this. There's nothing to talk about yet. Oh, believe me, there is. But you're going to be a dad soon. Yeah, that's ages away. It's going to come up on you like that, mate. You know, in these things, you've got to plan. It's cool, OK? No, Lucas, it is not cool, OK? I mean, who's going to look after this baby when you and Lee go back to school? And, and how are you going to pay for it? We'll, we'll work it out. When? Soon, OK? Just not now. I, I'm still trying to get my head around everything. OK, well, that doesn't mean you can just pretend this isn't happening. I know that. Oh, Luke, what's going on in that head of yours, mate? Hey, how are you? Hi. I've just made some toast, love. Do you want to join us for brekkie? I, um, I can't. I've, I've got to go out. To see her? I've got to go. Look, Maddie, I know this is a really hard time for you, but Lucas is not actually trying to make this difficult. G'day. Got up early this morning. Do you have a problem with that? No, I just thought we could have breakfast together. You know, we haven't had a proper chance to catch up yet. Yeah, I've got my own. Sorry that took so long. Still only since I'm giving the boys breakfast before she let me take them. Hello. Hey, boys, it's your cousin Drew. Anyway, we'll get out of your hair. Hey, so these are the little guys you were talking about. They don't look like they can play soccer. Yes, we do. Oh, yeah? Okay. You reckon you can beat me? I'm pretty good. Easy. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Cool. Have fun. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. All right. OK, and where are you off to, man? Uh, going to play soccer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got it covered. doing this. What? I can't keep lying to everyone. We've got to tell the truth. No, Lucas, come on. You promised me. You can't say anything. Then when? I don't know. I just... I just need to work out some stuff first. Yeah, you keep saying that, but you haven't figured anything out. And in the meantime, people are getting really hurt. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Just, just give me a little bit more time, please. See, you've taken my advice on board and decided to stick together. Well, we've decided it's none of your business. As long as you're keeping our little secret, everything's my business. And you better make sure it stays a secret. I won't say anything. Smart choice. I'm sure you'll make a very happy family when the baby comes. The baby? Don't you mean your baby? This is your own flesh and blood that we're talking about here. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Hey, listen here, you've got no right to judge me. Oh, I've got every right, you pathetic coward. You just keep your mouth shut about this. You hear me? Because you really don't want to pack me into a corner. It'll make life very difficult for both of you. the game. Awesome. Yeah, I didn't know Rugrats could score that many goals. I have taught him everything he knows. Yeah, right. Um, boys, why don't we go and play in your room, hey? Come on. Oh, 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 thanks for coming over. Yeah, you're welcome. Through here. Thank you. Uh, Morag Bellingham, this is Drew Curtis. Drew, oh, it's a great pleasure to meet you. 
I was your father's solicitor, and while we didn't always see eye to eye, he was a very, very good man. Well, thank you, and thanks for doing this. Uh, would, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, I think not. I think we'd best get started. Okay. Uh, Leah, we're going to... Oh, hey, Morag. Yeah? Oh, I'll move all this stuff. Thanks. Now, um, Peter drew up this will very recently, and he did leave specific instructions. The first of which being, I'm to read this letter before I read the contents of the will. Dear Dan, Writing this was one of the hardest things I ever had to do, but it's still a lot easier than it would have been saying these things to your face. I know I wasn't always the brother I should have been, and you had plenty of good reasons over the years to cut me off, but you never did. I don't think you'll ever know how much of a difference that made to my life, which is why it's been so hard not telling you what I'm about to, but somehow it just never felt like the right time. I have a son, his name is Drew, and he's a great kid. It's only the last few years that I've known about him, but I love him, and I need you to keep an eye on him for me. I know this will be a shock, but there's no one else I trust like you. I'm sorry it had to be this way, but I know that if you're half as good an uncle as you are a father, he'll be in very good hands. Thanks for everything, Peter. Any questions before I read the will? No. I, Peter Kevin Baker, being of sound mind, do hereby state this to be my last will and testament. To my brother Daniel David Baker, I leave my car and the small share portfolio currently held in trust by my solicitor. And to my son, Andrew Jacob Curtis, I leave the remainder of my estate, the sum of $20,000, to be held in trust for him by my brother Daniel Baker until he reaches the age of 18. But that's over six months away. Uh, Drew, those be your father's wishes. I can't wait that long. Well, I'm sorry, they're the conditions of the will and they are not negotiable. Have a nice time. Well, look, I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't stay this morning. Yeah, right. All this stuff with Lee's bad enough. You don't have to start lying now, too. You know what? Just forget I said anything. Fine. Nothing that comes out of your mouth actually means anything, anyway. Oh, grow up. Could I handle that one better, mate? Yeah, also a good shape. Look, mate, I know you have got a lot on your mind, but you do have to consider her feelings. Okay, enough of the lectures. I'm just trying to talk to you. What talking isn't going to fix this. I've got an assignment to do, so... I don't understand. I need that money. Well, um, Pete's will is a legal document, Drew. We can't ignore it. Then how about you guys give me 20 grand of your cash now, and then in six months when my money comes through, you can keep it. Mate, we don't have $20,000 lying around. You could sell that car my dad left, and, and what about that share portfolio? It's not worth anywhere near that. Well, it'd be a start. OK, look, aside the fact that we don't have the money anyhow, Peter made himself clear. OK, he doesn't want you to have it until you're 18. And what's the rush? It's only six months away. Because I have nothing, all right? So unless you guys want me living okay, on look, the street... So you've got three choices. OK, you can leave now without any money. Okay, two, you can go and stay with your mum. Yeah, because she really wants me hanging around. Okay, well, three, you can stay with us, get to know the family, and we'll look after you until the money comes through. I want to stay here with you. And we'll support you financially until you turn 18. Why would I want to stay here? What well, you just said you had nothing. So the choice is yours. I waited for Drew and I to get to know each other and I grabbed it. You, you don't mind, do you? Oh, of course not. I think it's a really lovely gesture and I really hope he takes you up on it. But um, just don't be too disappointed if he doesn't, OK? Yeah, I mean, the reality is he said about two words to me since he got here last night. But you saw how he was with DJ and Ryan. It's like there's a good kid underneath all that attitude. Yeah, look, I, I just think we need to be careful. I mean, he's been through a lot over the last few weeks and I just don't think we should put pressure on him, OK? Yeah, I know. Um, so, look, I've been thinking and I guess I'll stick around for a while. I mean, it's not like I've got much choice, is it? Well, even so, we're, we're happy to have you. Yeah, well, well don't be, because it's not like we're going to be playing happy families or anything. I mean, I'd have to be able to do my own thing and, and you wouldn't be able to tell me what to do. Right, we'll play that one by ear, hey? Yeah, I'm going to see what Ryan and BJ are up to. 